Okay, the first library that I want to talk to you guys about is QS Connect. So QS Connect is your kind of single source of all historical market, uh, market price data and fundamental data. And what I'm super excited about is that we're giving you the ability to build this quantumental database. And what quantumental is, it's kind of a mix between quantitative and fundamental data that you can then use for backtesting and building algorithmic trading strategies, which immediately sets you apart from a vast majority of your competition, which is the retail trading community. Most people will not get this right. Matt and I have spent over a year on building quant uh, QS Connect, excuse me, which makes it super easy to kind of get all this data in the same place and build your local DuckDB database. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the first two tasks that are in our orchestration. And these first two tasks, the first one goes and downloads uh, histor and downloads historical fundamental data. So I'm just gonna to talk to you about how this stuff works. So again, you know, there's a lot of code here, but this is all boilerplate. So you'll never really have to touch this stuff. That's the one downside of Luigi. There's a lot of code because it's a very full featured orchestration tool. But for our, for our purposes, most of the stuff you can just ignore. So QS Connect, we will first create a client. So our client will establish the connection to the API. This of course assumes you've got your API key loaded. That's what some of this code does here, dot uh, load dot env. So this will look for a dot env file and load your, load your API key. We will then go out and get the stock list. So the stock list are all the stocks in the FMP universe. We will filter on stocks. So one of the big failure modes in kind of back testing and building these algorithmic trading strategies is that a lot of people include ETFs, which is which is fine, except when you're dealing with like triple levered reverse inverse ETFs and all these kind of crazy innovations that, that exist nowadays. We really want to screen those out of our back testing because they can really skew the results. So this actually makes it really easy to do that. Um, we are only looking at NASDAQ and NICE exchange traded assets. So this kind of filters out, you know, pink sheet stocks and foreign stocks. Again, making it easy to build your universe. Another example here is we're screening out stocks of less than $5. So again, very easy to kind of create all these filters so that you can build the universe that makes most sense to you. We are gonna reintroduce three ETFs as benchmarks. So SPY, QQQ, and IWM. So when we run a lot of the back tests, we wanna compare our performance against these benchmarks and we need to re-include or reintroduce those, those data back into the data set. This will go and download historical prices for the start and end date and cache those results, meaning it will save all the parquet files, which is like a compressed columnar data format on your local computer. We will then go find all those cached files and we will load them into the Duck data, DuckDB database. So under the hood, this is all using polars. This is all hyper fast, you know, as fast as we can run the API so you can see 2,900 API calls per minute. That is literally our, our API rate limit. So all of this stuff happens really quite quickly and it's compressed and it's stored. I think we're dealing with 900 million rows of data here. Many, many gigabytes of data, huge data set, huge quant research library that you get with just a few lines of code. I mean, altogether, this is probably 15 lines of actual code from QS Connect. It hides all of the complexity for you. After that's complete, we will do the same thing for fundamental data. Again, this is all kind of boilerplate that you can ignore. And we will reinstantiate our connection to the client. And we are looking at historical price data for income statement, balance sheet, cash flow, and financial ratios. What this kind of data allows us to do is look for, you know, so-called Buffett stocks. So, you know, Warren Buffett is famous for, you know, you know he's a value investor. He's looking for you know, underpriced stocks, but what does underpriced mean? It means the price in the market is cheap relative to the value based on these financial statements. So having all this market data allows us to actually build these quantitative strategies that are based on fundamental data. This is the stuff that funds do. This is the stuff that most non-professional retail investors and traders cannot do. All QS Connect is doing is pulling all this data in and it's staging it, it's organizing it, it's building you your quantum mental database. So we're gonna go through and fetch all that data. We are then going to find that all those parquet files and we are looking at quarterly and annual statements here. 
we're going to do a, a delta. So we only go out and find the differences. So we're not duplicating data. We load all that data into the DuckDB database and we are done. So that's what is actually running right now. You can see that we're up to 2021 quarterly statements for the book income statement. So this is gonna run for, I don't know, probably another 10 or 15 minutes or so. But again, these are several hundred million rows of, of data that we can use in, in our quanti quantitative algorithmic trading portfolio construction. So the next step is to actually take all this data and bundle it into a format that Zipline can use. And I will introduce that process to you next.